So this is the cylinder head off the big Crossley. And this under here, I got pieces. This is the broken stud. We have to use a bit of uh, external heat on it just to get it going. So we're just gripping the bottom of it where this still is, leaving them all grips and uh, Bob, like a surgeon, is removing its nuts. Very gently. As you can see by all the crud on the head, it had been blowing for a considerable amount of time. Right, we'll have to drop it down now because there's very little room between the the nut and the actual casting. So the master plan is, as you can see, we've got a magnetic drill. That's what to fasten it to. This is a broken stud we've just extracted from the cylinder head. I made, made this drilling jig. It's a nice snug fit in the hole. And when we decide how we're going to fasten it on. So we're going for it, as you can see. We've now got the big boy on it, as you can see. So that's an inch and eight drill. Just in case. Now it's time to top it, all being well, inch and a quarter BSF. You see, we're using the centre in the drill mm -hmm. and a little hole in the top to uh, keep it square. Okay. I'm taking a fair bit of material out, as you can see. And Bob's working up to a bit of a sweat here. Mm. First time today. Now we've got a nice inch and a quarter BSF thread in there. You can still see the original stud. 